Hi guys, it's Patricia, your independent scented consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. And today I have a haul. So I'm gonna open this up. I did have some problems. This was ordered November 23rd. And as I film this video, it is Wednesday, December 8th. Or is it 9th? December 9th? I don't know, I can't keep the I can't keep the date straight. I think it's the 9th. And this hopefully will have my bring back my bars. And I'll just tell you a quick story. I did not get the Bring Back My Bar full kit. I ordered seven for myself, and between all my customers and the seven I ordered for myself, I have 19 of the 20 covered. There's one special bar that's not been purchased, but I have that bar. And I'm working on getting a special guest to do first sniffs with me. If that works out, you will see my first sniffs video tomorrow, but we'll kind of just unbox this together. Just one moment. Okay, I am back. So nothing is on back order. You can always check your packing slip. The final column says BO. That does not stand for body odor. It's back order. You always want that to say zero. So I have two boxes and a small warmer. So let's do the warmer first. It's called Vintage Glass. This one is for me. And I have Diane from A Simply Simple Scent to blame for this purchase. And I love Diane. I love how she always says, and you know when it's coming, she always says, um, aloha friends, how are you? I just love it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this unlit and at the end of the video, stay tuned and I will set it up in my bathroom and I will show it lit. So this is one I've been eyeing for a while, but I'm not huge into glass mini warmers. They don't get as hot as ceramic. I tend to like my scent strong, so I want a nice hot warmer. But if there's a scent that you find overly strong, a lighter wattage warmer or one that gets slightly less hot actually works out a lot of times. So you can always find positive in most things in life. So you just kind of have to pick and choose how you're gonna use various warmers. So this is a glass warmer, so it has a big wide screw on base. You put your 15 watt bulb in there. I just put a little, I don't know if you can see it, there's a rubber ring I just put inside here, and that will help you get your warmer situated properly. If this had a design or a saying, if you don't put that rubber ring in, you, your saying won't line up. So this does not have any kind of specific design that needs to be in the front, so it doesn't really matter. But here it is. Look at that, it's very, very nice. I love it. It's very speckled, nice, deep. These have really deep dishes. These ones that kind of come down and taper inwards. Very, very nice. So stay tuned at the end of the video. I will plug that in and you will see what it looks like in my bathroom. So this was a party that I closed out. And so some of the items that I purchased for me were free or half price. And I always suggest, um, you know, setting up your own party. Speak to your consultant. I often suggest it to my customers. So we'll just randomly go through things. I have lots of bulbs. I always tell you guys to have bulbs on hand if you're a consultant because you can actually get new customers that way because sometimes that's what they need the most. And then obviously they're not gonna be warming wax if their bulbs are burnt out. So I have three packs of, the three pack of 24, uh, 25 watt bulb. I have a blue 15 watt bulb for a customer. And I have some oils. I think there's more bulbs in another box, but for oils, these are for me. I picked up cinnamon cherry vanilla. I'm not gonna open this because I already have reviewed them on my channel before. I picked up lemon lavender rain. This is a nice fresh scent. I picked up grapefruit blood orange. Love this one, it's very vibrant. And I'm not huge into fruity scents, but I do like citrus and I like citrus fruity. And I seem to really enjoy the fruity scents and oils. Not necessarily as much in wax. And this one is a very good performer. It's nice and strong, red currant raspberry. So yet again, another fruity scent that I love, oddly enough. So let's open, I put a couple big things aside. We'll get to those in a second. We're gonna do the wax at the end. So there's another box to open. So much stuff. All right, oh my gosh, bulbs galore. I have a three pack of 20 watt, and I have four three packs of 15 watts. So those aren't all for me, but 
put those aside. And I think this is all wax. So let's show you the two big things. One is for me and one is for a customer. <laughs> I think this is my favorite brick scent. I do really like Snow Kiss Cranberry. However, that is available in the catalog. I tend not to go overboard on something that you can get currently, but I might put it in my Scentsy Club, we'll see. But I have one and two, Crimson Berry Christmas. So I will put one aside. I'm just gonna check them both because sometimes they get cracked. That one is in good shape. And that one is in good shape. So we are in good shape, no cracks, no damage. I've lucked out with bricks this year. I don't knock on wood. I had, haven't had any damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of these bring back my bars aside and we will talk about them in my special video. Hopefully that will work out. But I do have some non bring back my bars in here. There's a lot of bring back my bars. So I went to the, uh, I'll tell you a story as I'm sorting. I went to the mailbox. My husband said, can you go check the mail? I'm like, fine. So he's waiting on a gift card, I think. But he tends to be buying some like cards and stuff. So I'm like, there's a package in the in the mailbox. I'm like, oh my gosh, a package. Anyway, it was from one of my customers, one of my Scentsy customers. I am so touched. She gave me, um, like she knit three things for me and then gave me a bar of Pixie Sparkle. So thank you, Marlene. I really appreciate that. So sweet. Anyway, let's talk about some non bring back my bar wax. The first one that's come up is Cinnamon Bear. Cinnamon Bear is basically like a red hot cinnamon. It's got a little bit of cloves and it's kind of like the red hot candy. Some people don't like this. Other people absolutely love it. And it's been around for a while, so it's definitely got a following. And you can add it to scents to add a bit of cinnamon if you're a very, very much a cinnamon lover. I have Silver Bells. This one here is in the fresh category. It's got um, like candy cane mint. It's got winter pear, caramel, and I believe it's warm, not vanilla sugar. Is it vanilla sugar? <laughs> anyway, I really like Silver Bells. It's a favorite of mine. I have two Very Merry Cranberries. This is for a customer. Yeah, it's a very like flat fruity cranberry. It's very sweet and there's not a lot of other stuff going on. It says there's a tree note in there, but you really can't pick that up very easily. It's predominantly fruity sweet cranberry. We have cran uh, we have two of these. I know we have two of these. I'll try to find the other one. We have a Christmas cottage. Lots of red. <laughs> Christmas cottage is a very traditional holiday scent. It's got those holiday spices and it's also got raspberries and Valencia oranges together, which give a really nice Christmas holiday, warm, cozy feel. So that is a bestseller at Christmas time for sure. More bring back my bars. All right, from the Sense of the Season collection, I have, these aren't for me. I think one might be, but I've already have it. Um, someone's already claimed it. I have four gingerbread hugs. And you can see that these are cold. <laughs> It's almost like there's a frosty look to the plastic. So this one here reminds me of, it's like a very gentle gingerbread because it's mixed with some vanilla and it's almost got a fresh air component or a freshness, a fall fresh <laughs> gingerbread scent. And it's a, to me, it's fairly light in the warmers. So I've only warmed one cube. That's all I can say. It's somewhat light in the warmers. All right, we have a Jack's Obsession. Love Jack's Obsession. This one is one of my favorites. It's basically, to me, it reminds me of a green apple with cloves and cinnamon. It's very close to cider mill, but with more of a green apple. And I definitely do pick up the clove and cinnamon, but it's done perfectly. I love that one. It's in my Scentsy Club. All right, we have another red wax, Be Merry. This one here um, is for a customer. She said, what is a good overall Christmas scent? So I recommended this for her. And I think she's really gonna like it. It's pine boughs, holly leaf, and cassis. And the cassis kind of reads like a juicy cranberry. So if you like those kind of scents, that'll be for you. I have one, two, Stroop Waffle Delights. This is in the bakery section and it's a very strong, somewhat heavy dough bakery scent. There's not an overlap, overly, 
predominant spice um, element to it, but it's very heavy on the bread and carbs. Like this is like a very carb heavy <laughs> scent. So that is Stroop Waffle Delight. You warm that and you wanna go bake yourself some waffles. All right, so many bring back my bar. My customers did a good job picking up scents. All right, we have another red wax. The theme of this will be red. Two candied cranberry pecans or pecans. Okay, so there's candied cranberry, there's sugar cane, there's pecans, and there's brandied plum. And this to me, when you put all those things together, it's in the bakery section, but I don't think it's bakery at all. I think it's more fruity. But this is an outstanding performer in terms of longevity and it's fairly strong. Um, not a favorite of mine, but I definitely appreciate its performance. So that is candied cranberry pecan. We have a blood orange spice. I'm trying to think who ordered this. I can't think of who ordered this. Yes, this is basically like candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick. And this one I don't like very much. It's another red wax. I, I don't know if we'll see this one back next year. We'll see. There's got to be a following because uh, it, it all depends. Sometimes the first year after, okay, so it's usually released as a new release. Then the next year, sometimes it comes back. And then the following year is when it really is like, are they going to make the team or not? Because I find that second year back is when it's truly I'm gonna see what happens with the scent you know what I have a bad feeling about this I can't I, I gotta look into it but I have a maple apple bourbon this one here is basically like red apple and it has like a nice rich maple and it has a bourbon and the bourbon lends like a warm coziness to the scent doesn't really smell like alcohol. It just makes it smell very deep and rich and warm and cozy and fall-like. So that is maple apple bourbon. I have one of my absolute favorites and this is available year round, thank God. If this ever gets discontinued, you can bet it's going in my scented club. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is now? <laughs> apple butter frosting. This is phenomenal. It's very sweet. If you don't like sweet scents, then you might want to steer clear of this. But if you like sweet scents, it's like a nice sweet vanilla buttercream frosting. And then picture like a really deep, like spicy pureed apple butter, like folded in. And it's diluted with the buttercream, but it's, it's got that apple cinnamon flavor. Oh my gosh. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. And it makes your house feel very warm and inviting. I have a Wasail Wonderland. Nice, beautiful orange wax. This is a very citrus heavy scent. Yeah, and it does smell a lot like spiced grapefruit. So if you liked that scent and you wish you had more, definitely pick up Wasail Wonderland. As I film this video, I believe it's still available. It's the last of the scents of the season that has not sold out, which is surprising because it does have a really big following. And last but not least for this order is three cookies for Santa. Now I have warmed five cubes of my cookie for Santa bar. So I warmed two cubes here in my bedroom and I warmed three cubes in amongst my overnight warmers. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you definitely probably have heard me talk about the overnight warmers. Sometimes I put scents in there that I don't really like that much. And basically cookies for Santa at the first few hours of the first day, it does have a strange note. It reminds me of a mixture of like skim milk powder and almost like malted milk powder together. And, and there's very much a buttery cookie, rich, deep brown sugar, almost a nuttiness, like a macadamia nut cookie without like a white chocolate chip component. So picture all those things together. Now after day one, that weird like skim milk powder, malted milk powder combo seemed to dissipate and go away. And then it was just all those other notes, which was a little bit better. And I found here in my bedroom, it seemed to last quite a long time. And in my overnight warmers, which are glass warmers, because they don't get quite as hot. And one is a mini warmer. And one's the, uh, the other one I have going right now is the Elegance Warmer, which is a beautiful warmer. Uh, it seems to be very long lasting. I just put it on at night. And I think I will change it out tonight because it's, it's slightly less noticeable 
but I, I could notice it. And it could be because this is not my favorite scent. I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. I'm kind of neutral with this, but uh, these are for customers. So cookies for Santa. So stay tuned. I'm getting ready to work on the unfolding of my first sniffs video, first sniffs video. <laughs> so hopefully you'll see that either very late this evening or sometime Thursday, December 10th. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. If you're new, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, and here we are with the vintage glass warmer. I'm in the dark, so I'll just turn it on for you. And I'm just gonna back up a little bit. It's quite gray, which I kind of like. I'm a very gray person. I know some people might think that's boring, but uh, I, don't, I don't have any wax in it yet, but I will put it in. You can see the beautiful speckles. Isn't that pretty? Thank you so much, Diane. Mahalo.